gonna be hard to get through this. You ready? Yeah. Think you can do it? Yeah. Alright. Well, guys, we have 100 subscribers. And that may not seem big to most anybody out there, but that is huge to us. Yes. Uh, last I checked this morning, I think it was like at 109, which is, man, we're so thankful for that. But we, we decided we was going to make a video uh, once we met our first goal and that first goal was 100 subscribers and we've met that and surpassed that so as we continue to grow and don't get upset because it's gonna be fun <laughs> after our first, we met our first goal our plan was to do a video like this kind of talking about me and Langston and uh, and what our goals were and and tell you a little bit about ourselves here um, I'll start my name is Jacob Guffey. I'm 34 years old, and I have a wonderful family. My wife, Sarah, she was my original fishing buddy before kids. We met back in agricultural science, or in ag class, in uh, 2007, and we got married in November of 2014. And in this November, here in just a few short months, we will be celebrating our 10 years anniversary. And I'm pretty sure she's not gonna let me go on a fishing trip during our time spent together, just me and her. But uh, but anyway, and then Langston, this guy, he was born in 2016 and the one who made me a dad. Uh, the tender-hearted, mostly well-behaved child, he enjoys doing almost everything that I do. Follows in behind me, tracks everywhere I go, wants to do everything I do, and uh, that couldn't make me more happy. The kid would rather be fishing than doing almost anything else, and that's no joke. This guy's a fishing machine here. He catches bigger fish than I do on the regular. And little Ava, she was born in 2021 and she will be three in just a few short months. She's a mama's girl right now. And I believe that when she gets a little bit older and she can handle a fly rod, she's gonna be trekking along right beside me and Bubba and the, uh, down in the canyon catching fish. On July 5th, 2018, we had a little bit of a dangerous situation. Uh, long story short, I was uh, cleaning out my duck boat and getting it ready for the upcoming season and uh, I came across a hidden guinea wasp nest and uh, well you know how that goes I, I wound up with 15 stings on my arms and trunk and then on my on my thighs and uh, didn't think much about it at the time I'd never been allergic or nothing but uh, then the intense itching all over my body started happening just just clawing itching still didn't think much of it and I started turning red and I started turning red, even my eye whites were red. And uh, so I started thinking, you know, maybe this is, maybe this is serious. So uh, Sarah, she was like, let me take you to the hospital, let me take you to the hospital. And I finally agreed, I said, yeah, let's go, let's go to the hospital. So we jumped in the car and started heading on into town. We met the ambulance at a store there, a local store down, down in, in the middle of town. And the whole time there, my eyes, I was starting to have tunnel vision and I couldn't really see a whole lot and that kind of worried me a little bit but I wasn't letting on for it to be worried but anyway when I, we got the ambulance got there and we got out and I collapsed into the paramedics arm and uh, next thing I remember I'm strapped in a gurney in the back of the in the back of this ambulance and uh, I hear murmurings of you know heart rate I think it was 30 and my blood pressure was was bobbing, bottoming out pretty quick and uh, I thought it was it I thought that was uh, all she wrote but all I can remember thinking was, is, was let me talk. Well, I asked the lady, I said, if I am, let me talk to my family. Let me talk to, you know, Mama and, and Langston. But I remember, you know, I've always been terrified of death my whole life. It was in my upbringing, my Christian upbringing. Uh, it was just, a, I guess, a complex I had. But in that moment, it was just peaceful. Like, it wasn't. I wasn't afraid. I, I was I was ready. Just as long as I got to talk to these dudes, and uh, we'd be good to go. I'm gonna cut there for a second. You good. And that was 100% a God thing, uh, no doubt. I, 
you know, and, and I've been stung multiple times since then, and, and nothing, not even a swelling, nothing was wrong. So, But now I get to tow the nepi pin around, which is good. Uh, but anyway, I contribute that day to, I guess, my reawakening into the way I live my life now. It's, uh, it's more on a day-to-day. -day. I try not to worry about things. I try not to stress over stupid crap. You know, I try to do everything I can right to the best of my ability. Uh, and it's, it's made an, a, an impact on, on our lives. And, uh, and I, I tend to live my life too, as in, you know, the good things that happen and even the bad things that we seemingly think are bad happens. It was all done for a reason. Everything is done for a reason. And if you could live your life that way, man, the anxiety just goes away. Uh, I mean, with my career change, coming home to being with my family, you know, I don't think we would have even ever had Ava had I not have uh, decided to quit, you know, the railroad where I worked for 13 years to start my own business. I'm home every day. I'm more present with my kids. We fish all the time. We hang out. I get to coach Little League uh, baseball, and now I get to help football. But fly fishing, I've learned, is less about the catching of the fish and more about the places that we go and we get to experience. The beauty of our natural world and the conservation and preservation of our diverse aquatic ecosystem. And of course, the five people that we meet Go somewhere else. Chicken wanted to be in the documentary too. But my goal is to be able to show the viewers the stunning beauty of our natural world and to be able to hopefully shed some light on protecting its valuable resources through the filming of our trips and to have a ton of fun while doing it. I'll tell you a little bit about Langston. He was born in 2016. He just turned eight years old. He will be going into the third grade, and he really enjoys fly fishing with me. This is what he wrote. This is what he wrote down. I'm just going to read it off for you, okay? I really enjoy fly fishing with my dad, spending time with my family, and exploring our world. I love baseball, and I just started playing football for the first time this year. What's the thing that you enjoy most about fly fishing? Catching bigger fish than me. Catching bigger fish than me? Yeah. And you do quite often. And you let me know about it, too. I like that. Uh, if you could do one thing that you haven't yet, what would it be? Fly fishing in Utah. Fly fishing in Utah. Why do you want to go to Utah? To catch the bigger trout in there. Catch some big trout. I like it. And what is one goal that you would like to reach through our channel? To get one million subscribers. To get one million subscribers. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? How people just watching us like crazy. And we also have some trips planned, or we are in the process of planning in the upcoming months and years, really. And uh, some of those are the Georgia red-eyed bass slam to complete the grand slam of all the red-eyed bass species. And we're definitely gonna go back to the Talapusa and float it with Rao, right? Yeah. That's, that's gonna happen. Man, we had a blast. Okay. That was awesome. We gotta finish our slam in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. All we need is one brown trout. Brown trout. And uh, we will have completed that slam as well with all the trout species in the National Park. And uh, plus, a bonus, we're gonna film a lot of native brookie trips uh, around our closest national park. But when the weather gets a little colder, uh, yeah. maybe around October, November, would be prime time to do that. And our ultimate goal is to catch most of the catchable fish in this half of the country. I like to travel all over the place and do this if we can, you know, when we're able. Uh, and when Lane gets a little older, we want to start exploring our western states. There's some beautiful trout out there, too, and yeah. beautiful national parks. Never been, want to go. That's definitely on our bucket list, no doubt. Plus, we would like to hike the Penhody and hopefully one day the Appalachian Trail. The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> From Georgia to Maine. Really? Yeah. But anyway, our next goal is to reach 500 subscribers. And uh, let's make that happen. I think we can definitely do it. We're going to continue putting this footage out as much as we possibly can. Huh? My leg has to take on you. That was uh, kind of a little bit of a, about us and, and how we, you know, got to where we are now. 
so you kind of know the people on screen that you're seeing but uh maybe we'll meet you one day and uh we'll get to fly fish together that would be awesome one day that would be awesome but anyway thank you so much guys like from the bottom of our hearts thank you for liking and subscribing to our content but uh it can get emotional at times no doubt but uh anyway thank you very very much